Hit me to the hit me to the hit All right. Welcome to another episode of the Death Fresh Show. I am your host, Young Fresh. I'm in a building with a few of my nearest and dearest. You know, I got my nigga Can Beats, aka Tommy, Mr. Essential. What's that name? What's that name? And you know, my my alcoholic friend, Toriano Carson. Mm -hmm. He survived Cinco Del Mayo. That's right. Mm -hmm. Really? I mean, this nigga had, he was there at 11. I got there at 2. I he was still going. I was at I work. Him till seven. So I was they at, were still there. And it was funny because I wrote in the group chat, I was like, so we uh being racist tonight. And Tori was like, Yo, I'm here already. I yeah. looked at my watch, I'm like, nigga, I just got to uh, work. This mic. Yeah. I was like, I just got to work. I'm like, yeah, these niggas gonna be drunk and sleep by the time I get off. Nope. Then was, when I got off, I saw niggas videos of niggas going. still partying. They were still partying, it never stopped. That's how y'all get down on Can't Monday, stop, right? won't stop. And the people just kept coming, sitting in with us, eating tacos, buying the necessary shots. We're we leaving. Like, yep. Shout out to Korea and them. They slid through. Yep. Korea and uh Kim. It was like a revolving door of France. Where, yeah. where, where, where were y'all at? Burrito Bueno. Uh, burrito Bueno. All right. Uh, yeah. Mexican, yeah, that day. The realest Mexican. Is it on the north side too? Yeah, that's, that's on, side. Yeah. Apple too. Apple too. <laughs> like, you came up there. He nah, he on my birthday, I was he, just there. He, I, I was there for you. I didn't know where we was. At. You got to remember. No hey, you got to remember. He don't drive. I used, so. I, used to, <laughs> I used to live behind Burrito Bueno. And Did walk, you? Yeah, on Beckett. It's just funny because it's like that's the that's the hoodest Mexican spot on the north. Man, it's it actually is. the most yeah. delicious. <laughs> yeah, when you get your food, it's you get phenomenal. your food is actually really good, and you will be faded. Yeah. And chicken is great. Try the mango wings. Oh, I haven't had those. Are you no. Nah. You're not allergic. Nigga no, Tone went on a tour of their wings and shit. <laughs> How many wings did you have? I did not. He had to eat like 50. No, I did not. I Were they had... different flavors or you had one flavor of 50 wings? I had two one different flavor flavors. One flavor of 50 wings is crazy. I did not have 50 wings. I had maybe 18. Because they come in sixes. How many of the six? Oh, so you had multiple sixes. Yeah. You couldn't, just, you couldn't just get a 24 piece? I didn't think about it like that. I wasn't that hungry at first. But like you, you had know, wasn't that hungry, but you ate but you knew you was gonna be wings. drinking, which you need to which is why okay, so that's why I bought the first set of wings because you know, hungry, get some food, grab some wings, get the drinking, realize the tequila hit me kind of quick. Say, like, ooh, this chicken's not gonna be enough. Let me try these mangoes that look good, that look fire. Because Twan had wings and they were just sitting there, which was pissing me off. Because the wind was <laughs> blowing was, the hot sauce at my nose. Was mad. You wouldn't eat his food. <laughs> he was mad because he was like, Bro, you wasting food here. So I ordered me some hot wings and I tried the mango. The mango was fire. Hey, let me get another order of the mangoes. Give me some tacos while you at it. These it was all kind of cultural appropriation. <laughs> Think of the Maya. Nigga, when don't we culture appropriate those those holidays? I mean, you Antonio, and does it count because you Toriano? I guess so. And then I, I'm Juan. So like duh, yeah, I'd have been good. See, you're, you're Mark. I'm a Raul. <laughs> You're Mark. I'm, I'm a Raul. Why would you call me that? Because like, <laughs> that's your name. <laughs> that is not my damn name. You said your Mark. <laughs> that's so. That's so white. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mark is about as. It's up there with Chad. But but forget before I forget my thought that I was saying before air. You cannot go back and judge things from today's eyes in the past. It's like you, again, my point. Well, I just want before I forget my point. My okay. point was literally you cannot go back and look at a hip, a hop, a hippie to the hippie to the hip, hip hop, and it don't stop. And then say to the bang, bang, boogie, there was boogie, no boogie, boogie, essence boogie, or nothing to that fucking <laughs> lyric. Because now, hold on, because to us that lived through that era, that shit was groundbreaking. That shit moved crowds. That shit because nobody nobody was doing anything before that. That was that was the first, first that you heard of it. So if somebody came out with the first that you heard of it, and then 30 years later, somebody comes out with something simple as something that came out 30 years ago, is that a fair comparison? You're actually 30 years late on some shit that already didn't been said. Right. So yeah, then it was simple, but it was <laughs> outstanding. So here's my beef with you old niggas. And I say you old niggas very respectfully. Yeah, because you're going to be one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, not going to be. I'm already there. Like, the young niggas that I... I ain't been here with old school yet, but I know I'm getting old. Oh, old, <laughs> old school here. or unk? I, yeah, I ain't got here with those yet, but I know I'm getting old. <laughs> but my, my gripe was like, so you old niggas, respectfully, a look at the young niggas of the generation of music that either I listen to or that is coming behind us, and we'll be like, oh, this shit is trash. 
these niggas can't rap. And I'm like, well, I don't think that's fair when we came from a hip, a hop, a hippie to the hippie to the hip, hip, hobby, you don't stop. And niggas lost their fucking mind. I'm going to stop you right there because the fact that it came from where it came from, the idea behind being a, a, an artist back then was to top the person before you. So you improved on it every time you rhyme. You didn't copy you came up with your own shit that, like, he said that, I'm going to say my shit a little bit better. That's not the, that's not what's going on right now. Back no, then, that is not going was, on right now. Back feel, then, there was a universal rule that no biting was allowed. I so everybody not, had to be original. Yes. Okay, but I'm not saying that anyone is biting. My 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 point is, like, you you saying that niggas can't rap, and it's simple. That's what a lot of people, it's mumble rap, it's simplistic. There's no to it. They go, ain't no umph to it. I'm like, but you can't say that about these young niggas when we came from a time where looking back at it, it's just like it just it was hot. I'm not saying it was trash, it just it wasn't no um to it. But it was still it was very simple. Okay, it, my, my my point to this is it was still all simplistic, is what I'm saying. That's <laughs> not to say it's bad or it's trash, it's just it's very uh 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 boom. It's very easy to get it catches on. Okay, it's, it's very easy, it's party right. Okay, look at um uh comparison look at the, the first nintendo that came out eight bit game what uh a and b button and uh four direct a uh, directional pad that went four different ways um a, a video game that you could only go forwards and backwards one uh one dimensional this is very true now if somebody came out today and made a game not even the system but just a game where you could only go two different ways like mario my favorite game does that. People will look back and say there's nothing to this game. Which it's is not your, true. What, your, what, which would be true in today's era. There's nothing to the game. It just goes backwards and forwards. But back then, but you cannot go back and then say it's just like Mario and that shit was trash too. Because when Mario came out, that shit had niggas who normally played outside in the house <laughs> for eight, nine hours at a time. You don't, as a matter of fact, I could do one better. It's going to sound like an insult, but it's not. You're not qualified to talk about what happened back then because you didn't live in that era. You didn't see the impact it had, both personally and culturally. It is I can't talk about what James Brown music was because I'm not from that era. I can say if I like it or if I don't like it, but I could never call it trash. I could never say it was great. Because I didn't live in that era to see what it had personally, uh, uh, as far as effect goes to a community, to a people. Also, again, I want to state that I never said this shit was bad. No, you said it was simplistic, and it's, st- it's still simple. It was, that, it's I, very. Simple. It wasn't simple. Back it, then. I, 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 it was very complicated. And I take, back a, then I take because nobody else it. was doing. I it. take offense to it because in my like love for it. That shit was difficult to do then. Like you just didn't do it. Like how did he come up with that? How do you come up with that? It's a whole different thought process. So you got thirty years, forty years of that thought process evolving over time, and somebody chooses wait not to actually listen to it and call it old and not relevant, and just make up some simple shit like it's the the hot shit. It ain't hot. it ain't that hot. It's not as creative as it could be. I look at it like a retro though. It's not paying homage though. It's not paying no homage to it. Wait, who's not paying homage? Tell them, Tommy. Wait, no, they do. You, you, there's several examples of them saying it ain't. But then there are several. But, I, I never even listened. There, I never listened to Tribe Called Quest. But there is examples of those who did. Who there are people who respect what came before them. I, I have. I haven't I, heard it. But I'm if I heard not, it, I would give them. I would I'm give them not a, a nigga that's. I look at it like I'm not gonna disrespect some shit that like I like. I mm-hmm. enjoy hip hop. Mm-hmm. I used to rap, mm-hmm. and I under. My favorite rapper is probably a simplistic nigga at times. There are times where he'll give you some shit. You be like, damn, that made me think. And then it'll be some shit where it's A, B, C, one, two, three, but it's still cold. But, as but a, if it's still cold, I mean, it's not simplistic. As a rapper, I will. I would hope that I, I would have hoped that you would have given Coogee Rap way more props than ah, that's, that's simple. When he was probably the most complex rapper in his time. I but think again, that's what pissed Tommy. Yeah. But again, though, like he was saying, that's me listening to it now yeah versus me being 15 16 with Kooji rap drop and that's the dopest shit ever there was nobody touching dude when he came out but literally then, in the conversation <laughs> we had tommy would you refuse to acknowledge that i never said he was 
Like, I never said folks was trash. I didn't say he was weak. I just said that rhyme scheme and rhyme pattern in which he was rapping, it was very simple. Now, it's now, simple. Yeah, now, it, now it could be seen simple. One, because it's been repeated several times by several right. artists. So, and that's all I said. It was the way he was rapping on that song. No. I didn't say the bars was trash. I just but said the you're, format you're and delivery wrong, though. was ABC, one, two, three. That whole statement is wrong because it wasn't simple back then. Niggas wasn't sitting on corners doing ciphers back then. Rap was something that was unheard of in that era. So to do it was very complicated. As a matter of fact, to be signed as a rap artist was very complicated back then. In actuality, at the same time that song that you heard, Run DMC was at their at their at their, their, their peak, and motherfuckers was swearing by Run DMC. Talk about a simple rhyme scheme. That's the most simplest rhyme scheme in the world. But then Kooji Rap is spitting like that. You're like, it's night and day. That, 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 that. As a matter of fact, one, rem- this is also the same era of Kumo D too. And right. You heard I go to work, and you heard how he went off. That. We're never gonna see how to eye on that, so we can switch. But but that's, that's why I say people aren't qualified to go back and talk about things that they truly didn't you, experience. And you know what? When you say that, you're absolutely right. I may not be qualified. I'm not qualified to speak about a lot of shit. That I talk about right. but if I, it's a conversation. I, I say I, I say this in multiple different spaces. Just like the people that you get a 23 year old kid now, and I ask them who's the greatest of all time in basketball, and they say Jordan. I hate that. That's like when people be like Pac and Biggie. I hate it. When you're not from that era, don't say it. And that's okay to not say it. My problem with that whole statement is I'm 41 years old. And I barely remember Jordan's first three rings. And I'm 41. How are you at 23, 25, 31, 33, 34, 35 going to tell me that Jordan is a GOAT? You're going off something you heard, not something you watched, you witnessed, or anything. Because as many arguments that you can make as Jordan is the GOAT, yeah. I can make that he's not the GOAT because I watched him play. I know what he went through to get to the first fucking finals mm-hmm. that would. you don't count, that you don't say. As a matter of fact, I remember when he came back from playing baseball. Mind you, you nobody butt. made him retire. He chose to retire. He was trash at baseball. Penny he came back, ass. and then they got put out the fucking playoffs. Penny was whooping his People ass. People act like Jordan's back. career was only six years. And then I can it actually wasn't. speak on the the career of him just being trash. I mean, being on a trash team, scoring a whole bunch of points. Like the all was cold, but like, you know, he was like, whatever. It was, it's almost like when uh, when who's a, who's a hot player that was on a, a, a scrubby team, like right now. Uh, Bradley Shit, Bill. you could do oh. Damian Lillard. You Dame, could do Dame Bill. Lillard for sure. It's like, damn, dog Cole. Will, will he ever get any help? Oh, well, he score a lot of points. Dog, the flashiest shit, but, you know. I want to play in fucking Portland. I'm just saying. It rains up there. But oh, shit, wow. dog, Chicago was the same way. It's Chicago. It is. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, so I'm, that's why I tell people, sometimes you're not qualified to talk about things just because you weren't there to experience it. I feel like it, when it, people... So to make statements that this person was trash or this person didn't have no... Yeah, you could go back and talk about Bill Russell and say his style of play was simplistic. It got that man. How many rings? Thirteen. I mean, his mm. style of play might have been, but for the time that that was basketball, that's what was. So high. how come you can't incorporate that to music? I didn't say that. I just said it was simple. That's all but I said. But it's not simple. It was complicated then. Well, okay, for the time being of what hip hop was in the late eighties, early eighties. Then yeah, you might be right. It might no, have been the late seventies, early eighties. Yeah, hip hop been mm-hmm. around since the seventies. So when did that song come out that I was like unapologetically saying was something? Uh, that was. I don't even know what song y'all. That was eighty eight. The, the symphony. Oh, the symphony. Eighty eight. That was a nice mm-hmm. Yeah, I know exactly what you're at, talking about. At nineteen, yeah. And in nineteen eighty eight, I have a whole entire show dedicated to all the damn motherfucking songs that came out in nineteen eighty eight. That was probably the heaviest year of hip-hop history as far as releases and and of like strong hip-hop content and in the midst of that that's that is still revered as like a classic joint in eight yeah. from 88 like all the songs that you know i got if you pull up the damn playlist you're like god damn that came out 88 it is the wu-tang triumph of its era yeah best way you could describe yeah. it yeah because everybody had a favorite verse but everybody knew every and the debate on who should have gone last of right. uh, Coochie Rap and Big Daddy Kane and was Big Daddy Kane verse simple? All of most of Big Daddy Kane verse are pretty it's simple. just the, the, the simple when you look Setting back at it, it off, the way people rap back then, it wasn't the you had your you had your 
every rap always changes or rap always evolves. I should say that you've had your rap of, I mean, your era of, uh, as you would call it, simplistic rap, where niggas was basically making nursery rhymes. And then you fast forward, you can actually split it off between party uh, rap, nursery rhyme, yep, yeah. gangster rap. So, wait, gangster rap and um, now, uh, but you got to split it rap. because because the, the east had theirs with LL and all of them right. doing their thing, uh, and then you go to the that. west, and then gangster rap gets introduced. They love it. Then you you go go and then you get the South going, so you got all the motherfuckers coming out the South, the, the South. family and all of them. They coming out the South it, as you know individual artists. Then you fast forward and now you start getting your Jay Z, no, uh, you, Tupac's and Biggies, mm-hmm. East Coast and West, and, and really the beef is all. I mean, not the beef, but the real competition was always East Coast it's and West. East and West. You know, thank God for Andre 3000 and Scar facing them down in the oh, south. No, that made it minute. relevant. Wait down a minute there. now. You are not going to sit there and disrespect Percy Miller. Because if it was not <laughs> Percy, the south would not have risen respectfully. That is the stupidest statement how I've ever long, heard in my damn life. How long had the ghetto boys been ghetto boying? And all of a sudden, no limit hit the scene and everybody is listening. Think so about you're it. giving all the credit in the south to, 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 to the Master P? Master P put out an album every you act week. Like Scarface wasn't a fucking star before that, or like Outkast didn't exist. Yo, my my can I my, get some help? Time my simplistic like, hip my hell? simplistic hip hop take ain't got shit on that. Missed Master All P. I said was niggas. Rap. Master Percy P Miller, Mer- Percy yo. Miller. <laughs> No, okay. Before. I'm not saying that Master P was the reason why the South. Was you just said. Hold on, let me. That's why I said <laughs> he what, did just say that. I, no, I, 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 I said you were not. I said we're not gonna disrespectfully Percy Miller. You out jump the in. I didn't just disrespect like, like, Percy Miller. Like, you never let me get to that era. Just because y'all business still with partners, Pocket Tommy, you can okay. say something. My I bad. was with Pocket B, and I said, thank God for Andre 3000. You went to Grambling, nigga. But Andre 3000 and them came. <laughs> I was there. Say something, Tommy. You went to Grambling. It was around about the same time. No Limit and Cash Money was really, they were everywhere in the South. I yeah, was living but you in the never South let Carolina. me get to that point. I'm going through a timeline, and you jump in and say oh. that Master P made the South. That's completely false. I'm not, not, I'm not going to say completely. I'm, I won't say completely. He know. wasn't completely, but he damn I would say, sure made I would say niggas this. recognize the he, South. He intensified the independent label push. And he made major record labels see that, oh, wait, they taking my money. We need to do something about this shit. That is completely fine. And I agree with that statement wholeheartedly. But he didn't make But I didn't get to that point yet. Yeah. I was still going tone, tone jump on the, the conversation. To, uh, Pac and Biggie. And then I said, thank God for Andre 3000 and Outkast in the South to make them, rec- of course, right. And as a matter of fact, it's right after that. It was right in the same era, same time frame. Master P and three got big, big and yeah. cash money came about what, two, three years later. Yeah. I, I was, and everybody started rising, but I'm not giving Master P sole credit for everything. That I'm not giving South. him. Was he an intricate part? Yes. But am I giving them credit? No, because you're negating people like Uncle Luke. I that had been around for years. I get you that. A lot of them niggas. I get that. Because they really. MJ, and that's he, a MJ, nigga that's MJ, disrespected MJ, more than anybody. Right, in I was like, MJG and Bay 8 Ball. Coming out hard came out before. Uh, UGK. Yeah. Came UGK. UGK. I, yeah. Speaking of, speaking of um, two live crew, a lot of people tend to forget about them because they are the reason why explicitness it's such a big thing in hip hop no, now. Uncle Luke is the reason why explicitness is it. Yeah, Two Live Crew was a part of it, but it's all because of Uncle Luke. That's why you used to have on your tape, you know, the explicit you, warning. Yeah. yeah. So we we didn't used to have that. I didn't actually look at Uncle Luke as the South. It was Florida, and I think that's what a lot. Of, I think that's the problem. <laughs> yes, because no, no, Florida, Florida is in Midwest. I was just saying, like, like so no, 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 no. Florida not at the is, bottom. No, 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 no. It's America's I dick. It's like. You hear when you hear South music, you think of like UGK, Ghetto Boys, uh, Kiki Watts, all of them, and you technically don't naturally group two live crew I as did, did. because Southern. he's the most disrespected hip hop artist ever. People no. should thank God that Uncle Luke came through and no. did what he Uncle Luke took all the bullets so niggas could get through the door. 
Remember, That's the true. first that go through the door is the one that always gets shot. Yeah. Uncle Luke was taken to the Supreme Court. Yep. Uncle Luke was threatened with jail time. Yeah. All this shit that he beat so niggas could get up and rap freely. So fucking Suki, uh, Suki Hana can show her ass. None of that will happen if it wasn't for Uncle Luke. And no, I'm mad. Wait, tell me. I'm be... mad that you're 41 and you just made a Sukiyana reference. Like, no, no, I'm just you saying. Gotta no, you got to bring it, it to you the gotta, day. No, you got to give credit. If there was I, no I, Uncle Luke, saying, there, there would be no pussy rap. And if there's no pussy rap, there's a lot of women rappers Joe that Cardi wouldn't B, have a career. Megan the Stallions, all them. And I have to say this because I was a witness to it. When Luke, Luke, when Luke was making, when Luke was performing, no matter where he was, and I happened to be in in South Beach when there was a music conference. Oh, you were uh, oh, there, Freaknik? I was at how? He was. He said that all the time. I was at How Can I Be Down, which was a huge music conference in like ninety five, ninety six. I can't remember what it was. When Luke performed, every fucking artist that was down there, were like we going to the Luke show. They went. They went. They yeah. gave Doug yeah. all props. In you the world. probably been in this documentary. <laughs> he been scared mm-hmm. for the longest. <laughs> when it comes to lifetime achievement awards, Luke should he have everyone. No, they and don't that's why I said he's the most disrespected hip-hop, artist ever. Hip hop awards should give him one. You make a movie Steve about NWA and their their impact to music. While it was big and was great, and I do agree with it, and a lot of big names came out of the NWA. Nobody looks that Luke Skywalker. It started with him did all this shit so they this nigga got beat down and, and drugged so these motherfuckers could fly mm-hmm. remember they weren't threatening nwa with jail time they were just the supreme court was writing cease and desist letters and stuff to them they were threatening to lock up luke for his music technically the only reason why nwa ever got on anybody's radar was to fuck the police off if they never released that song nwa would just be and, my, and, mind, and mind you uh hey we want some pussy was out before that. So they didn't give a fuck about it. we want some pussy. But fuck the police. Oh. But when Uncle Luke said it years before that, well, along the lines of that, uh-huh. with the hey lizard lizard, all this shit, and the girls dancing and stuff, they wanted Luke in jail. Mm. I can he was say poisoning I, their minds. He was never even, called Uncle Luke trash. No, I'm so, not saying. No, did, no, me personally, I'm saying for, for the people out there, I never called You that can't go trash. back and look at, you know, all Luke and and two live crew and uh what was the other group he had? It was two Poison live clan. Poison clan. Yeah, yeah. All them groups. We only use them for dissing people though. You can't go back and look at them groups and then say uh, it's okay. When shit, the birthday song is still one of the biggest songs you play when somebody's birthday. Facts. You got I've people, been in the club. You got and they people down there. Stupid shit. They're in there 35 years later still singing this. What's that number one Zodiac sign? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, 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 and the chicks uh, sweating and bending over, shaking their ass and all that stuff to this song. But and now that you say that, like I saw a TikTok about, uh, I think it was, uh, Mr., you know, Mr. Fab is or Mr. F.A.B. Yeah, yeah. And he was talking about Too Short. And when he was running down like the shit Too Short did for hip hop, I was like, damn, do we not? Like, do we not give Too Short enough love? No, no. For what he did? As a matter of fact, like, I didn't even know Too Short signed Lil John, and then let him out his contract, and then Lil John like blew up as his mega producer and shit. I was like, oh, that's that's an interesting hip hop fact. I didn't know. Nine I mean, times out of ten, you get your, your 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 flowers when you die. I remember going. To, I see, and that's fucked up. I remember but going down to a family like reunion in, in, in Mississippi, and my cousins had came. I don't know where they had came from. They was playing Born to Mac. Mm-hmm. I never heard no shit like that in my life. I'm like, no, Too Short was coming, but the song was long as hell. It was just a drum track, and he was just. Talk about simple rhymes. I don't know for sure. But Talk he about like, like, he was spitting some shit though, but it was I, simple as fuck. It was, was simple backing. as fuck. He was, was spitting game. His cadence was so slow and simple. Nigga he was spitting that game. That beat but was. As long as he ended it with bitch, it was cool. Nah, too short beats spitting game. Freaky tail. That's the one song. I was like, this is a song. This song long as fuck. Who's your favorite rap? <laughs> All time. Mm-hmm. I don't know because it changes. It, it technically yeah, it, 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 it it's does, always it changing. Because well, like right, mine's never changed, bro. Hmm? Like mine's never changed, bro. Like there are people that I frequent that I like. Because like right now, like right now at the stage of my life I'm in is Benny the Butcher. You're not right. You've been on Benny for a minute, dog. Yo, he you, can't miss. I've never heard a song where he missed. Never heard a song where he missed. You know, really even when Conway came at him as hard as he could, and you know Conway might have had the better verse. I've never heard Benny miss. You've been on Benny. I want a lot like before, like I we was having. I don't know. But what, my personal favorite will always be Invictus. 
I don't know what you we know was I talking love, about. You know I love MJG. In the wrestling group. Still think that first they got, album was trash. They're, they're wrestling fans, so I think Von <laughs> was dropping like some heart? tracks that they no, got. No, no. That was it's titled after wild. wrestlers. Oh, so, okay. That was how I started listening to them niggas. I was like, man, let me click Oh, these no, legs. I fucked with. And, and, and I don't know how I started fucking with. Oh, not, Griselda. They were on Jimmy Fallon one night. I was watching Jimmy Fallon. And I was like, these niggas sound so much to me like a uh, Wu Tang Clan. And I went back and listened to the album. And I'm like, dog, after that, I was addicted. I'm the biggest Griselda fan. I was sad when Conway left the group. I'm like that with what's the name of that group right now? Because I always wanted Coaster. it to be West Co- or West Side. If West Side had left, I'd have been fine because I hate West Side. Because at first, I remember. You like West Side? Girl? No, I don't like oh, this whole conversation. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> but we turn the corner. We turn the corner. I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? I don't know. I like it though. <laughs> I like it. You like, hey, that, nah, I fuck with that. That's cool. I'm Speaking cool. of Coogee Rap, because when Coogee Rap had come back at one point, um, I, somehow he hooked up with 38 Special. What? And when That's I first heard 38 Special, I was like, I'm not really liking 38 Special. Like when I heard him with Coogee Rap, but then I heard him with Griselda and the niggas, I was like, I like 38 Spash, though. No, no funny it's, as hell. It's like Juan always says. It depends on who you put people with. Because Juan hated Nas until his recent run. Because now his beats match his flow. I've always hated Nas' beat selection. And t- 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 Nas' beat a lot. selection. You to a lot of, I mean, have you listened you know, to your Griselda, like mm-hmm. a lot of their albums and stuff? Mm-hmm. Okay, so pre- previous to this, Griselda always had to what I consider like the most simplistic. And they wouldn't have. They wouldn't have. Dr- they wouldn't have drums until the uh, uh, Benny the Butcher got Hit Boy to do his. Album. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, Oh my God, Benny the Butcher with real beats. Yeah. I, I love it. I love that. Everybody is Hitman saving everybody's career yes. right now. Wow. Hit boys, like Hit how boys you had that epiphany when you heard that is how I felt with like now nah, when they was like Nas nah, and Hit Boy. I was like, Well, I like Hit Boy because Hit Boy do Drake shit. Drake be bumping, even though I don't fuck with Drake like that. Some of the songs be bumping. I listened to that. I was like, the songs be bumping. Oh, damn. Damn, they're all Drake. You ain't got to like them to admit right. that. Drake shit. Drake shit. At hit. this yeah. point, if you hate Drake, you just. Hate Drake him. also at times. <laughs> Drake used to be a heavy spitter, but now his bars are getting very simplistic. Because I was listening to Nonstop. That beat hits hard. But Drake don't talk about shit on this whole damn song. I just hit the switch. Flip, flip. <laughs> <laughs> Drake, Drake got so many memorable. Even the song he got ate up on. By fucking uh uh was it little baby? Oh uh I, I know what you're talking uh, about where uh, I can't think of you, it. Little baby got dirt. The ends. I did, 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 did. What is the name of that fucking song? Was it little baby? Yeah, it was little baby. Not familiar. I feel like at this point, Drake is so far ahead of us. It, I could be wrong, but I feel like Drake, Drake is an artist. Drake is so far ahead of niggas. What year is this? 2023. 2023. And he's been rolling since 2009. Yep. Because I mixtape Drake. No, no, like been out since 2009, but then really like putting your like on the game. But I'm saying, like, when he came out in 2009, people, he was all the buzz. Like, niggas, like, Mm -hmm. have you heard this nigga before? Him, Kendrick, and Cole. Yeah. And Dog ain't let go. He has not let go of radio. Yeah. Dog has radio on a chokehold. Drake is the Drake is the male version of Beyonce. Um, mm, might be a little bit better, bro. You think Drake better than B? Might be a little bit better in, in regards to influence. Dog will pin on everybody's shit. He's I, got everybody I, on this I, shit. I was, I was just like a musical thing. Like, where you at? And like that to me, that I'm just like music. Uh-huh. Like when I when I compare. Oh yeah, I know that. They play that shit on two K. I know that song. Dog, little baby, ate this nigga alive on this song, and it still was a good song by Drake. I like little. Blue Speaking, baby have blue baby has his moments where he goes crazy. Speaking of eating up on the track, him and Dirk. I know you like Benny the Butcher, but why do I let J Cole on that track? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is it, the Cadillac? Cadillac uh, yeah, dog. I like J. J Cole, man. When he when he when he gets a feature, which he don't do often, oh, he, mm-hmm. just, he, just, he annihilates you. He just did. What, I said, he just did Dirk song. Oh, word. And he kept like that. He killed that shit. Of yeah. course. Dirk was like, no, I'm not rapping. After you rap, I'm just going to sing. No, nah, mm-hmm. Be- Benny. Sing. Benny. Me rapping after you call? No, nah, it's not. Benny, arrogant nigga. He, he came back like he had some shit. And he was nice. Mm. But I was like, ah, he could have he kept his verse off that. But they done made so many skits about that damn song I just played. Yes. That's ridiculous because everybody 
who has ears knows that little baby just body Drake and wasn't a diss or anything. He just uh-huh. out rapped him on his own song. It happens. So there's sometimes. one where they show like little baby going to the booth all casual and get to rapping. And then out of nowhere, this nigga starts turning into a super saiyan as he's rapping <laughs> and shit like that. He, and, and, and Drake was like, how much more powerful can he get? <laughs> Is that the animated one? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh. the animated ones be funny. I, I saw the one they did when it was uh it was him and Dirk they did a song for the DJ Khaled shit. Yep, and, that and one. The way little baby rapping, and then like Dirk was gonna walk in the booth and be like, No, no, wait, <laughs> wait, like, wait, and then, all of a sudden he hits the alley with Khaled be like, Hold on, keep going. All right, keep going. And all of a sudden like, and he just go crazy. I it's mean, one, it isn't it it's kind of messed up Kendrick. when the feature actually bodies, you know, the the, the... I don't think Drake care though. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I don't know. But it, it, he knows what what the end result is. But us as spectators, <laughs> we like to yeah. you know, throw shit on the fire. But that's but... what makes us start listening to whoever the feature artist is. Because I'm not saying that Eminem wasn't big on Renegade, but a lot more niggas paid attention to him after Renegade. You know who did that for me? Beanie Siegel. On which song? Um, All of them. No, his <laughs> first time. First time I heard yeah, was I swear, on. Uh, Shit, the root song. I can't um, go on. Never, never been. What's the root song? Uh, really? I, like he, adrenaline. He's nice. Uh, I just when he, uh, never had none. That I think me and Scales argued about that because he was like, you know, the best person on Rockefeller. It was, was Beans. Like, to me, it was Beans. It was Beans. I was mm-hmm. like, as far as just rapping. As far as just rapping. Oh yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. It, 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 it was all, Beans. All it the shine beans. Jay wanted to give Bleak, he should have gave it to Beans. He should. No, no, no. He but, tried to give, but it to Beans couldn't say out of trouble. Yeah, so I get it. He tried to. Beans wouldn't lead the streets. Beans said that on um, what was at the uh, what's called a podcast, Noriega podcast. Yeah, he said Drink Champ Club one too. He was like he just wasn't ready, and he didn't understand why Jay left him in court because the, co- the, the the judge asked him, "Would you be responsible? Not would you, you know, keep him out of trouble? And would you be responsible, you know, for him, for him, uh, for Beans?" And Jay <laughs> told him on the stand, "No." <laughs> and he cried I'm... about that because he felt like Dre betrayed him. I mean, uh, Jay betrayed him. But he looks back at that now. And he's like, dude, I was wild. Dr- uh, Jay had stuff he was trying to do and place he was trying to. I ain't got no time for this shit. And, so, and I hope, like, nigga, if I've been trying this entire time, like, I'm trying, let's do this, let's do this, let me get you out of here. And then you keep fucking up when the judge said, hey, you don't watch mine. You don't watch this nigga. A street Absolutely mind not. like Beans was like, Jay could have asked me to go off somebody and I'd have did it with no question. He's like, the judge didn't even ask this nigga, you know, to be responsible. He just asked, would, you know, I, you you see after him? Would you this? Oh, so he just wanted he wanted Hove to lie, and Hove was like, mm, no, he wanted Hove to really tell that he what he wanted. In my opinion, was for Hove to say yes, I'll look after him. Yes, I'll make sure he stay out of trouble. Hove, like, no, nah, you, you gonna he get didn't get trouble. to be a billionaire by being stupid. He's like, dog, this nigga's a lost cause. <laughs> he needs to go to jail. <laughs> I don't care how much money he made me, how cool we is, how good of friends we is. This nigga need to be locked up. That's a harsh reality that some of your friends don't be ready for. Like, bro, you probably need to go sit down, do do a year or two, and come back when you. If Tommy was looking after me, and Tommy was like, you know, because I'm sure Jay would have seen the potential in in Beans. He was Jay, absolutely Jay, did. He put him on that damn Hot 97 he was ass. The best uh, nigga on the label, like. Any feature that Beans was on, that was a crazy, that was crazy not even that, any feature like his album. He didn't really get to just do he did until he got to the becoming. Because when the becoming came out, that album was a complete album from track top, one top to track bottom. twelve. That shit was good. I'm gonna go back now his first that. his first two albums and they were okay. They had some hits on them, but a complete album, the becoming. Listen to that shit. Yeah, I'll go back. As a matter of fact, what do we use? Uh, uh, real bar talk. We use one of the tracks off the becoming, though, the him and uh, Red Man. Oh, yeah, the dun, 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 yeah. It's, a, oh, that's that, the that. One with it's on on it, but in other hip hop news, mm-hmm. I can't Jum- go on this way. Is on that one, Jum- in the air. yep, you're right. That's my favorite beans, Jermaine Dupree. And did so, is this official now? They really gonna do this battle? Yeah, because I keep it. seeing podcast niggas just speculate. Uh, versus about. announced it. Now I feel like it should be a two part versus, because these niggas got hits every fucking way. They could do rap, they could do R and B, they could do it all. I feel like it should be a two part versus. What you think? Mm-mm. One nah. night, pick your best twenty. Yeah, this this is this is the deepest. This is the one you got to do your homework got on on a versus ever. You know, and I'm glad they're doing this because like 
your homie. He be disrespecting the shit out of JD, and I didn't. I never appreciated who scales. Oh, and I get it. Diddy is Diddy, but niggas be acting like Jermaine Dupri ain't need to have scales down here and had a conversation with him. I'd have had him many times. And, and and you know what? It's not that skills really. He take pictures from the parking lot. Tell me you're here, mm-hmm. he don't be here. So yeah. <laughs> he can't be here. like like skills don't. I hope you see that because he did that shit. Skills don't necessarily like not give the credit. No, he to don't. Jermaine Dupri. I've seen several stats. No, like, no, no, no. He said he said Jermaine Dupri got his, but he doesn't think that you know his. That basically he thinks his arms are too short to box with God. And so you think a nigga who actually make beats, but what scales songs. don't understand <laughs> that I've told him many times, it depends on what you pick. See, that's if you if that's the strategy, am, if I am puffy and I sit up and pick the 20 songs I like the most or I think were the best, and they're not really those 20 songs, JD can eat you a lot because JD has hits. If Diddy, you know, it's it, like a oh, I let uh, one second. Uh, it's just like when niggas, uh, when J, JD Kiss went against uh, Fab, Fab it, mm. and everybody, including myself, we was like, Fab oh, everybody was down, fabulous is fabulous, that fabulous is, and then JD Kiss ate him a lot. Mm-hmm. Same way, like I just made a stat that Nelly shit didn't age well because everybody was like, oh, Nelly gonna watch Luda, but Luda knew how to never, pick his never, songs. I never even said that. And I think Diddy would do the same thing. He, I think Diddy will pick the right songs, not necessarily because he's the better uh, of the two. No, he's going to pick the right songs. I think because Diddy is is not a hands on nigga to me. Like Diddy gets a credit because he he's he, a curator. He, he's, he's a scientist. He's when a it, curator. Yeah, yeah. So he's probably going to know how to curate his twenty songs. Probably a little bit better than JD. But that's because that's what the fuck he do. He sit. That's what he does. That's all he does. JD does though. I mean, but from my standpoint, like JD can, JD, curate, JD, JD but might JD have his, also can make a beat. He also writes the fucking song. Like he might he have his hand, he might have his hands in too many things. But to I, mean, I, I mean, think it's, it's but gonna, it don't mean he's not great. I think it's gonna be interesting. I, See, I, everybody I think everybody leans on the fact this nigga had big. This nigga oh, had. I'm like, okay, yeah, he did have big. But how many big songs can he play before everybody starts saying, okay, you just want a biggie versus or i just i just i just did uh we just did a paint and sip at vibes where it was uh tupac versus biggie and i made the playlist and uh Chrishella came to me she was like there's a lot of tupac playing i'm like he got he got he got way more songs than biggie biggie the, the shuffle did wasn't shuffling enough he, and that's no disrespect to biggie biggie's one of my biggie favorite got two albums and some scattered features yeah <laughs> yeah the and, some, and some remakes <laughs> what the fuck he got, you gotta man? remember uh yeah. pot got more albums when he did than some niggas whole career yeah yeah <laughs> biggie is the penny harder way of hip-hop oh my but I I I, be I, I think I think shit. I think that uh I think that I think that JD will how, spend more how, wait, time Tom, how's that wild Tom? It just what Biggie. Said ben, uh, Biggie is the Penny Hardaway of hip hop, which you, is the lo- most ludicrous statement I've ever heard. Right, Wild let's, let's put it like this. <laughs> did you watch you? You come from that nineties era, but did you watch Penny Hardaway? Mm-hmm. Did Penny, was Penny Hardaway not called? Yes. Was Biggie called? Yes. Did Penny Hardaway's career get cut short due to knee injury? Yeah. Biggie died. But here's, here, here, here's the thing: if you want to look at it in that aspect, Biggie was a champion, multiple time champion. Mm-hmm. How do you ha- only have two whole albums to your name, and you're considered one of the greatest of all time? Why? That that's that's who is considering this nigga to be the greatest of all time? The world. Why? When you ask anybody, they top Why? five. You list literally on get, there. You literally the just three. said you hate when young niggas put Pac and Biggie on a list, and they do that because the niggas who were there really do put Big and Pac on a list mm-hmm. because they really are that good. You gotta you gotta give credit where you well, how old are you? 34. 34. One. Okay, I'm 41. Uh so when Life After Death came out, whoo, you would have been how old? Because that was 90, what? 90, 96, 96, 96, 96, 97. 97. Oh, because I hold you've been 97. Four years. That's Mimi would have been 13. I'm four years younger than her. You're 19. So, so you're 19. I'm 19. You did not but, experience notorious thugs. For but the first if time. I say armed and dangerous, ain't too many can bang with us. Straight up, we no angel dust. What's the Label name of that song? Notorious. Notorious, notorious thugs. thugs. Okay, so keep that in mind. You're nine. You were nine years old when this album came out. But to this day, you can name the song without me saying the title. You can name the song 
does that not credit how great that man was? You got a point there. That's fine. You got a point there. But, well. like, I think me and because if I gave you a big L line, you're going to be like, who the fuck is that? And Big L was cold. I really didn't listen to Big L. But when you say it like that, I truly like it. I feel like people who grew up like me are an anomaly. Because I got to, like, I grew up around my uncle, who was, like I told you, he's the death row nigga. Finish finish this line. How you living, Biggie Smalls? It matches. (laughs) (laughs) Got you. You won't be the only person that can say that. (laughs) No, but I. No, you I, won't be the only person to answer that. But I feel like because people like you and me, that's what we like. My little brother probably knows that fucking line because when I clean up the house, that credit, I listen to Juice. Put that credit, how great this man was. His, Two albums. His longevity? His, 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 his staying power? Yeah. I, I, now, it was con- it's, con- power. it's concentrated. You can, you can put him in there. Okay. There's a particular artist that you hate to death. Because everybody keeps throwing her on their list, and she only has one album. Fuck her, man. We're not talking about her. But oh, that al- yes, <laughs> but that album is is a masterpiece. Wait, who? Lauren, Lauren Hill. Hill. Oh, it's a masterpiece. It wasn't hip hop to me though. You're right. That's another thing. It's like like R- that shit ain't even hip hop. R and B neo soul kind of shit. Like, okay. She came out. She, she, hold on. She, no, came no, at, no, she came out with a fire rap, rap song. Hip-hop. Hold on. I give you. I give you that. But this goes back to how we start the whole thing at that time. There was no category for that. Right. Because Drake is what Lauren Hill was now. Mm-hmm. He can walk in any lane and we cool with that. Mm-hmm. Because Lauren Hill was able to walk and create that lane or to begin How with. people keep uh, Chris Brown in the R&B category when this nigga raps he better rapping. than most he, niggas he, out. He got bars. <laughs> America, if you are listening, I would like for y'all to just like go to fucking sleep or forgive Chris Brown. Either or. Take a pick. Like at some point, y'all gotta let what he did the fuck go. I mean, especially if the motherfucker he did it to said, "Hey, you good? We're cool. I'm sorry, you good? Like it's over." Once a villain, like, always a villain. The people I live, fam. Like, but oh, you talking about the uh, the Rihanna? Shit? No, no, the oh, Rihanna. Yeah. Shit. Hey, if he watched Usher, I'm all for that. He didn't touch Usher. Usher, Usher, Usher. probably said some shit out of line. And probably no, it, first of all, it started with Chris. This nigga is drunk. unhinged. <laughs> <laughs> that's like that's it. These unhinged again. Whether he's unhinged or Usher started it, which, I'm okay with which him watching Usher. Does to you, it takes a special Actually, person the, the, to not self destruct. The story that I heard was that Chris was on some shit and he was Usher was with trying. Tiana, yeah, he was yeah. fucking with Tiana Taylor while he was either drunk or on that shit. Could be both. Uh, Usher didn't like the way he was disrespecting Tiana Taylor or some of the other women in the place. And then he got washed. He no. Here's the thing. He got Chris. Chris was like, you know, fuck this shit. I'm going back to my truck. He said some things about Usher. Usher went to go have a conversation with him. Chris Crew jumped him. So Chris really didn't touch him. It was what people. did Usher think was gonna happen? That's not that's not what I heard. I heard that's that, what I heard. I heard that they was trying Usher was trying to break some shit up and it looked look, like a scuffle. Hey, look, whether, and he, whether, got, he got he got muffed or muffed or something like that, trying to whether trying it to calm him down or, or something not, like that. The, Same the, thing he was outside though. The yeah. thought of it was nobody fucking, nobody saw it. The thought of it was hilarious. Somebody had to see if it get reported. Right. Like, no, no, no phone footage. He hit all the black. Like, he hit all the black like, news. Chris, no phone footage. Chris Brown and a bunch of bloods beating up Usher just sounds hilarious. But I've me. always said this: these R and B niggas are ten times harder to. But dog threw that. But dog threw the that's party. Hip-hop. That's hip hop, right there. Didn't mm-hmm. he throw the party for Chris? Yeah. That, now that's that's he was hosting more. it. That's, that, even, that, that's the part that everybody. That's keeps even more gangster. Act like Usher paid for the shit and all of that. He was hosting the party. You can host stuff and not, you know, have, you know, thrown it for them. Tori, if you host Tom birthday party, mm-hmm. and then I sneak you outside, I'm like, what does that look like? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks <laughs> bad. It looks crazy. It looks bad. bad. But I say, man, don't fuck with these R&B niggas. This shit been going on for years. These, and Chris too These cool. singers are way harder than all these motherfuckers that claim they was, except for King Von. That uh, everybody that, that nigga was a <laughs> minute. That is a that is old dog. <laughs> okay, that just sound like one of Tommy's boys. Like, and it makes I'm just gonna nigga you run with. That's it, why you say so squeaky clean. It, and it make me feel bad because I like the music, but I'm like, you was really. Yeah, what happens when you find out the music was all real? Man, real. That's what I'm <laughs> about. Like. 
I shot 10 niggas last night, and the nigga really did shoot. Right. Like, right. Just, just watching that little documentary, and then, like, he would point out, like, the bar, and then he would have a story when that nigga said, yeah, we, we slid and shot up a funeral. And then he was like, yeah, so this, 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 and they really, like, niggas were shoot. I was like, so I'm going to shoot up your funeral outside, rest in peace. You a real nigga. You wild. I swear. Oh, it- That's crazy. I swear I hate and, to, and to make music look bad, but these niggas are stupid. They are. No, I mean, I understand sure. art imitates life, but my God, why would you repeat shit that you could get you thrown in? Why itself? Why would you repeat shit on because on tape niggas that you could get niggas you thrown did in? not want to be accused of lying on the mic and fronting. So if you gonna talk this street shit, you gotta be from the streets. And they thought that's what you are supposed to but, do. Okay, Jay. Jay raps about selling drugs. There is no know. way you can go back and prove 15 it. or 20 years and, and prove that he sold this hype some drugs. Mm-hmm. Even if that drug, the hype come out and be like, yeah, he sold me drugs. You he a hype. We're no not going to believe it. it, 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 it it's word versus word. Right. When you got bodies that haven't been found, when you got bodies that dropped and you don't have a killer for it, when you got money that's unaccounted for, all that shit paper trails back. And you rapping about it. And the funny part is, niggas used to do that back in the days, but they wouldn't bring the rap lyrics into court. But then when they started bringing them in court, now all you niggas is really just give them, hand them confessions. Like, oh yeah, well, because yeah, this- if he was still alive, he was definitely gonna go to jail because they got oh, yeah. all the niggas from the FBG Duck murder. Oh yeah, and he was the last one because he oh, paid he, for it. He was, and weak. it was crazy just watching. It was like, so FBG Duck gets murdered. Then they got this nigga on camera, and like three days later, in the jury store, like, yeah, let me get seven O block chains. Excuse me, sir, what are you doing? Like, y'all just documenting crimes now. Hold, like, hold, on, hold, hold on one second. Hold on. I'm going to do this. Thank you guys for having me. I'm going to step out. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Shit got too real for you? No, I got to do something yeah, real quick. But uh, he got I, his mouth. I got I got baited into uh, talking about JD, and but JD's going to. Um, gonna be very impressive in that and that, I, and that, I think I, agree. Agree. I think it impressive. boils down to exactly what you Tori say is how you no, pick it. because when you look at JD's just his writing credentials alone he got an easy oh 20. his latest his, his I sent you the latest uh yeah release with uh currency mm-hmm. he's out he out here like hey I still make banging beats too and he produced that whole shit I'm like that's have you heard it mm. some he had some new 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 uh, project with currency welcome to Atlanta needs to start it's crazy show. It's crazy. Walk on to Atlanta. But they're gonna be in New York. So that that's why you gotta that, start that, the that, show. That, that ain't gonna go. You right. gotta come in like you know, Diddy really fixed this fight. Yeah, like, <laughs> like them, them niggas should have been in like fucking Cleveland. Iowa. Wait, let's say Cleveland. Nobody should have just been in fucking Des Moines or something. Do it in LA. It's safe. No, I don't know if Diddy's safe over there. 